Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. All I gotta say is this is like my third time trying to record this video this morning. <laughs> um, so the devil must not want this getting out, but it's gonna get out in Jesus' name. Um, anyway, God dropped this word on my spirit very specifically for someone. I'm not sure if it's gonna be for a lot of people or just for one person, but for whoever this is for, we're diving into this today. So we're gonna be in Luke chapter 16, and I wanted to give you a little bit of backstory before I hop into verse 23 with you guys. So there were two guys. There was a guy named Lazarus and there was a rich man. The rich man lived this kind of extravagant life here on earth, but he didn't follow God. Lazarus had a kind of awful life here on earth. You know, it just wasn't fun. He was poor. Um, he dealt with a lot of health problems while he was here on earth and really just struggled. But Lazarus ended up going to heaven, but the rich man unfortunately ended up going to hell. And so that's our backstory where we're going to head into, excuse me, verse 23. It says, and in Hades, the realm of the dead, being in torment, he lifted up his eyes, the rich man, and saw Abraham far away and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried out and said, Father Abraham, have pity and mercy on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in anguish in this flame. But Abraham said, Child, remember that in your lifetime you fully received what is due to you in comforts and delights. And Lazarus, in like manner, the discomforts and distresses, but now he is comforted here, and you are in anguish. Verse 26, and besides all this, between us and you, a great chasm has been fixed in order that those who want to pass from this place to you may not be able and no one may pass from there to us. And the man said, then father, I beseech you to send him to my father's house where I have five brothers so that he may give solemn testimony and warn them lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham said, they have Moses and the prophets, let them hear and listen to them. But he answered, no, Father Abraham, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent and change their minds for the better and heartily amend their ways with abhorrence of their past sins. He said to him, if they do not hear and listen to Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded and convinced and believe even if someone should rise from the dead. This is such a simple word that God told me to deliver to you guys this morning, but it was definitely on his heart. I wasn't even thinking about this this morning. He just was like, you got to hop on. This is for somebody. Um, basically, what God wanted to say through this scripture today was that some of you guys just need to simply believe the words that God has told you. He showed me that there was a person, now I have zero context on who this is, God did not give me this information, where you have been asking for multiple confirmations from God on something that he has spoken to your spirit, that he has spoken over your life. And God is saying to you, you know, if I give you multiple confirmations, that's not going to help you more to believe. I've already spoken over your situation. You have already heard my heart cry over this thing. It's kind of like in this scripture where, you know, this rich guy is crying out in a place of torment from hell and he's going, please send these people from the dead to come back and talk to my relatives. Maybe then they'll listen. And basically the response that he was given was the word of God is the word of God. You know, if he's not going to believe them, why would he believe a new set of people? Why would he believe a new set of words? Amen. And so this is just, you know, an encouragement for you guys. I wanted to remind you guys that the word of God does not return void. That's what scripture says, but accomplishes what it says it will accomplish. If God has spoken something to you, ladies and gents, take it as a word. It's as simple as that, ladies and gents. You know, God is faithful. And, you know, sometimes God in his loving mercy and his kindness will give us multiple confirmations. Amen. But sometimes he simply wants you to believe what he's already said. Amen. So I want to encourage you guys, believe the word of the Lord and his report over your life today. Amen. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll chat with you again soon.